Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Bunker is moving to Cannes at the moment. As you can see here, the cat is out of the bag. Nina is with us. You've seen her one year ago. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Um, it was all a secret, like what was she doing with us? Well, we're working together on selling our project, our movie at the Cannes Film Festival, Art Lovers Unite. And this is Patrick, our producer and director. Um, you've, you've seen Patrick in other videos as well. So, we are on a layover somewhere in Europe and I'm going to take you on a really cute little trip to the duty-free shop and we're going to check out the perfumes. Um, I'm hoping to find something nice. If I do, I'll let you know. I'll just take you with me. And um, let's hope for the best. Also price-wise, I was told that there's like extra percentage today. Off. Look at all of these perfumes. Chanel. And these are the prices, by the way. They're also cheaper in Europe and the duty-free. Ah. This is 150 milliliter. It's the biggest one they make of Eau Tendre. And then the same one as Eau Fraiche. And we got Eau Vive in 150 ml. For 105.90, so this should be cheaper than the the regular retail price in Europe. So, plus we get an additional 15% off today. Yay! So that would be like for 100 euro, it would be like another 15 euro off, I guess. Lo, in a huge 200 milliliter size, loving that. Hmm, let's see what Dior has to offer. Poison Girl. Okay, so this is the Eau de Toilette, which is the kind of newer version. This was the first one released. I still have like a big unopened box of this one, 100 ml. This is the Eau de Parfum, and then we have the newest one, Poison Girl Unexpected. 50 ml and 100 ml. 64.90 and 91.90. So that's your toilette price, basically. Let me smell it. Not a fan of this. Oh, look at the the tester bottle of Dior Addict has the little inscription on it. 50 ml, 78.90, and then we got 100 ml of Eau Fraiche, 93.90. But they don't have a hundred ml of the eau de parfum. Oh, the male section. Okay, so we got egoist, but this is a reformulated egoist, and I'm like not a big fan of it. I have to be honest with you. Let me open it. It's it's okay. It's a bit more spicy than the one we used to have in the past. The eau de parfum is still there. This is delightful. Get it if you get a chance to get the Eau de Parfum. I know it's not everywhere. 72.90 for 50, for 75 ml. Pour Monsieur, there we go. Now, this liquid changes color with time. It's still delicious. It's not as intense as it used to be in the 60s. But you get what you get. Um, Platinum Egoist. This one is tragic since the reformulation. Anteos is still okay. I know a lot of you have been telling me that you don't like... This is the price, by the way. 77.90 for 100 ml. A lot of you don't like it since it got this, you know, black little thing around its neck as, uh, as a sprayer. It used to have like a metallic version. It's a bit mellowed down, but it's still okay. And I think Chanel's just playing the game of like kind of making it as sellable as possible in today's day and age where everybody just wants a citrusy fucking... I'm not supposed to say the F word. So I'm just going to bleep that out. Uh, citrusy fragrances, like this little creature here. I could not care less for this one. But anyway, then we got Intenso, which the... Ah, okay, so I had really high hopes for this one when Shiseido took over. But it's just not good still. It still doesn't come even close to the Made in Italy version. From Euro Italia, you know. This is just kind of like a memory of what Dolce Gabbana pour Homme used to be. It's better than the Made in UK and Made in Germany versions, but it still doesn't hit the mark. And the dry down is like super chemical, artificial. 
Too bad. This was a great perfume. This is kind of new. Liking the little Sicilian packaging. It's probably like citrusy. Ugh. Boring. Okay. Let's see. Blue. Now, Blue came out, as you can see already on their website, they have the pure perfume pre-launched on the website, but you don't have it at Duty Free yet. So it's probably going to take like a month or two until it hits Duty Free. But you got 150 ml, 91 euro 90. Eau de toilette. The Eau de Parfum 150 ml would be 109.90. And they're smaller versions. And then we go to shaving cream, lotion, potion, <laughs> deodorant, Alurom spot, couldn't care less for it either. Anyway, travel sizes. These, I never understood why they sell these because like they're all gift sizes and then like you spend a lot of money on those. So I would never suggest getting these unless you're not a huge fan, for example, of the little bottles in this case of Moschino. They are ador uh, adorable, adorable. But are they worth this price? No, I think they're not, because it's not enough perfume for it. Yeah, that's that. Miniature Montguerla. Miniature Gautier, that's kind of cute. It's a nice packaging. Victor and Rolf know how to do fun packaging. A little wax seal. Versace doesn't do it for me. No. Then we got Armani. Thank you, Armani, but no thank you. Sauvage. Now, I have already a travel version of the bottle with a little refillable one. Super cute. I would definitely recommend getting this 9890. This is the Eau de Toilette travel version. Super cute. Do they already have... Oh, look, the Eau de Parfum is out and duty-free. You know, you can check out my review on my channel on this one, uh, on the Eau de Toilette. And I love it, but I hate it. It's like a douchebag perfume, a one-night stand type of perfume. But I have to say, for what it is and for the times it's been released in, I kind of like it. Maybe. Maybe review coming soon. Dior. Um. Oh look, they have the pure perfume of Fahrenheit here. This one is delicious. I would recommend this one to everybody. Before they reformulate it, you know what I mean? 86.90 is the price. And then there's an Eau de Toilette version available at the moment as a 50 ml. Also delicious. I might buy this one today, to be honest, with y'alls. Let's just see, because I have a reduction thing. Maybe there's like, the, because of this 15% on top, so that would be that. Oh, no, there's a bit more Gautier here. Scandal, 84, 90, 80 milliliter. And then there's a 50 milliliter Jean-Paul Gautier Scandal for 66, 90. I haven't seen this one yet. It's kind of red. Red out. outfit. The outfit is kind of cool. Eau de Parfum has a new packaging. Is this one made in France or did they start making all of them in Spain? No, the tester is made in France. But let me see. Yeah, no, it's still made in France. But Scandal is made in Spain. And that's a Scandal. Look at that. No, no, no. Gautier should be made in France. In my modest opinion. Anyway, that's that. Tune in later. So there are more Eau de Cologne's here from uh, Hermès, but none of them are Gentian Blanche. Darn. CK1, Eternity. Terre d'Hermès for whoever's interested, 91.90 for 75 ml. There's a little travel set. 
130 ml plus 125 ml refillable. I don't know. Oh, here's the mail, but look at that. That's kind of rare to find the deodorant of Limal. That's kind of cute. The Essence de Parfum from Limal, 82.90 or 58.90. And then the classic one. They also have the Maxi Limal, 200 milliliter bottle for 95.90. And Ultra Male next to Issei Miyake. <laughs> That's funny. The combination. Um, they got Vanitas from Versace, Juicy Couture, Anais Anais, and Moschino Uomo. I don't know. And Moschino Funny. Okay, guys, so this is amazing. Got these two. Fahrenheit, the Eau de Toilette 50 ml, and for Patrick, we got the Absolu of Aqua di Joe. I never thought that I would like Aqua di Joe, but on him it really smells good. You liking it? Yeah, I like it. You like it. Okay, now we just gotta find a perfume for Nina. Yes. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> we're already in sale mode, guys. We gotta sell that movie.